We have uh, 3,000 associates roughly in our company right now across the state. And about a third of them, I'd estimate, probably a little under that, are high school age. So when you look at it that way, I guess, you know, I've never broken it down that way, but we are really impacting a younger generation. One of the uh, areas that we're pretty proud about uh, helping our young adults in is getting into college and uh, saving for college. We have a Dollars for Students program. Uh, in 2007, 240 associates were on the program, and you could be older and not in high school. You could be 60 years old and take accredited classes and also be on the program. Uh, how it works, each uh, associate contributes 50 cents of their average hourly wage into an account, and we match that with an additional 50 cents per hour they work. They pay for their school or their book bill, bring us that bill, and we match it, uh, or we release the funds to them at that time, paying them back. Last year alone, we paid uh, 115, $115,000 across our company, so it has been a very successful program. <laughs> you know, the benefit for us, obviously, is it keeps kids loyal to staying and working with us. Uh, you get the best kids. Those that are motivated to go to school are often uh, going to be the best uh, folks working in our, in our schools. It teaches them to save. Uh, along those same lines of education, we've come to realize, you know, there was some talk about how you attract skilled labor to this area. We are having problems with uh, jobs such as bakers. There just aren't a lot of bakers out there anymore. It's not a skill or a, uh, something that people necessarily want to go to school for. We've talked about possibly paying for people's way all the way through school with no promises attached that they'll stay working with us at a tech school to learn baking. So it's kind of come to that point where I don't want to call it maybe desperate yet, but uh, we have to be more proactive in, in training and uh, getting people the schooling they need to, to be able to help us out down the road. Another initiative we have that we're just starting up is what we're calling Lighten Up Festival, and it is a program that has been done across the country, Lighten Up Iowa or Lighten Up whatever you want to talk about, and it's, a, it's an exercise and weight loss uh, fitness program. It's going to be 100 days of... Uh, of registering and marking how much weight you've either lost or how many hours of exercise, exercise you've uh, done. And there'll be teams of 2 to uh, 12 within our company, and they'll have contests and win prizes over this 100-day period uh, to see who uh, is losing weight, staying more healthy, and hopefully being more productive in their workplace, therefore. Uh, it's done online. You register uh, how many hours or how much weight you've lost online. YMCA uh, sponsorships or user fees are also being sponsored by our company as of late. We've uh, offered our associates a uh, subsidy to, we waive their joiner fee at the YMCA and then also pay their monthly uh, or part of their monthly dues to the YMCA. Again, trying to get people healthy, get them active, take their families, whether it's a family membership or a single membership, we are subsidizing that hopefully leading to lower insurance costs in our industry. They're just going through the roof as they are. I'm sure everybody's. And uh, anything we can do to keep people in better shape is going to be better for all of us in the long run. We've got quit smoking incentives. As we all know, it's uh, probably in our best interest to uh, curb smoking throughout our country. And uh, we are incenting our people. After six months of stopping smoking, we pay them a, a sum of money. And after the another six months of uh, stopping smoking, there is another payment to those associates. And once they have uh, made it a year, we have a board in our break room that posts those who have been able to stay uh, free of smoking for over a year. So that has also been uh, something we're pretty proud of. We have part-time vacation for associates. Again, with one-third of our associates being the younger generation, it's pretty neat to uh, get a part-time vacation check. They don't actually have to take the time, but uh, we do give them a vacation check based on their average hours worked throughout the year. Many of you know about our tot spot. It is uh, something we consider very family friendly. We try and develop relationships with those kids at a very young age. They can be in the tot spot starting at a year and a half uh, of age through seven years old. And uh, those are our future shoppers. We're trying to develop a relationship with them, let them have some fun while they're in the store. <laughs> yes, we start young in that, in that regard. Um, as, as you know, as many of you are shoppers, uh, it is easier for a parent to make their way through the store when they don't have little Johnny hanging on their arm asking for another candy bar. And it's also more fun for the child if they've got something to do 
whether it be coloring, uh, doing some arts and crafts, watching, uh, even watching some TV. Uh, we've got monitors uh, throughout the store so the parent can keep an eye on little Johnny and make sure everything's going all right. Uh, we're also hopefully going to install fairly soon what I think is going to be pretty cute um, is a monitor inside the tot spot so that the child can see themselves on the camera. And what in broadcast out, out across the store, you can imagine how many, how many of these kids will be hamming it up for the camera, so that should be pretty neat. We also try to cater to uh, kids by having uh, little shopper carts for them to push around so they can do their shopping. Uh, yes, it does hit a few ankles uh, as they make their way through the store, but hopefully it's just mom or dad and not somebody else that isn't expecting it. We do have carts in the store uh, for them to ride in as well. Uh, the uh, car carts or uh, fire engine carts, uh, kind of a fun experience for them. And we offer jello and uh, cookies throughout the store. Uh, if they go to the bakery department and ask for a cookie, they get a free cookie, or at the deli department, they get a, a free uh, cube of jello. So, again, trying to make it fun for, for the young ones in our store.